quite recently I had to replace the carburetor on my lawn tractor. The, the two carburetors, the new one and the older one, were quite identical. The only difference was um, these little plastic retaining holders on the top where the linkages hook into. They were different. These are the two linkages. The front one here is for the choke and the back one over there is for the throttle. So I decided to take out both shafts and the plastic retainers from the old one and put them into the new one. The throttle shaft was uh, fairly straightforward. All I had to do was take out those two screws and the flap would come off and then the shaft just got withdrawn out of the top. On the other hand, the choke butterfly doesn't have the two little screws. It just seems to slide in right through the middle of the shaft. So it's, it's a lot more difficult to get out. If you have a look at it, there are four little indentations, one on each side of the shaft. And if you turn over onto the other side, you'll see those little indentations actually protrude and stop the plate from sliding in and out. So the next thing I did, I got my utility knife, slid it in between the protrusions like that. And then I was actually able to just push it out the other side. So to reassemble everything, put the shaft back into its hole and open, open it completely in the open position. And you'll find that that little slot is actually facing you. And then you put in that side first. Slide it into the slot. Now, as you can see, I'm going to remove it again. I've actually just put the, uh, the blade into the slot covering the protrusions and I'm using a long nose plier just to grab both the plate and the blade and it comes out just like that. So hopefully this can help somebody and thanks for watching.